There is nothing wrong with staying small. You can do big things with a small team. Said Jason Fried, a team is what makes or breaks a business. Be it a small team or a large team, it is important to hire the right resources for your startup. And today on Startup Buzz, we will share a few points on how to build an effective core team for your company. Because let's face it, there are limited resources a startup has and every penny should be spent on the right thing that will propel your business towards growth. Core teams are usually small that take up the roles essential to run the company. Without them, the company is not likely to perform that great. Number one, understand your shortcoming. The first essential element that you as a founder need to take into account is yourself. Whatever you lack, make up by hiring the right person for that role. One person can't wear all the hats in a startup. Understand your own shortcomings. There is nothing wrong if you are not good at a particular thing. Someone else is. So hire that someone else and just let him or her do the job. Number two, identify the correct skill set. Secondly, know what skills are required for the particular job and thoroughly research it. Ideally, look for a person who has the complementary soft skills too because at some point, this person is going to have teams under him or her. For instance, a CEO can have zillions of degrees, but the person needs to have leadership and problem-solving skills as well, apart from being empathetic and honest. Thirdly, interview the right candidates. There are a ton of platforms that upload CVs and hiring has become extremely easy. However, it is also important to keep your eyes and your ears open everywhere you go, like restaurants, parties or events. You never know where you might find the right person for your company. Number four, passion and right energy. The fourth quality can't be described in a CV. It is more behavioral and needs a keen eye and observation to hire people who are passionate and have the right energy. Now this is important because the company will hire different people at different points in time and people with the right energy will further strengthen the teams as the company grows. Passion is a quality that is a must and anyone who lacks it will not put in the hard work required to succeed. Next up is value and integrity. Each person who is getting hired will represent the organization. That makes it imperative to hire people who reflect well on your company. Easiest way to do it is a thorough background check. Understanding the mission and vision of the company is very critical. This will allow the team to work towards one common goal. Mission and vision are not just statements, but that is what the company stands on. The team needs to be in alignment with it to perform as per the standards set by the company. Once you have hired the team, the next most critical part is to train them. Train them for the skills they already possess instead of asking them to hone new skills. This decreases productivity and is a waste of time and resources. Asking an IT head to train for sales or marketing won't add much value to the company. What we mentioned is not the absolute list. It depends on company to company too, but more or less, these are some guidelines to go by to create a strong core team. Stronger the team, higher the growth prospect for the company. Also, a strong team is always good when seeking investment. So investors also invest in the team. Another extremely important thing is to understand that people spend significant time in the office. So hire people who will value, who understand and are good for your mental health. Hope these tips will help you in the hiring process. Do share your thoughts with us on this video and follow us for more such content.